channel so today I brought you a makeup video it's been a minute since I've done one but honestly I love this look so much so I'm you know I'm not complaining because I love this look but I hope that you guys really enjoy this look and if you guys want to see how I created it just go ahead and keep on watching so to kind of get this look started I'm gonna go ahead and take my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and I'm gonna prime my eyes with this just because it's gonna give us some more natural finish on our eyes I don't want it to be like really thick or anything like a paint pot so I'm just gonna take this on a brush and then just go ahead and prime my lids as if I would with any other primer. I like to go ahead and go with my sponge. We make sure that there's not a lot of foundation on here. It's just a little base so that it cancels out any other discoloration on our lids. And then I also like to take it over here just so it does blend together. So I like to go ahead and just let that foundation sit on my lids just because I don't want to add powder on it and kind of just make it look more powdery and more natural. So I just let that sit for a little while just so the foundation sets. And then today I'm going to be going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and my Makeup by Mario palette. And I'm going to take my Morphe M441. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the shade Isabel. And this is just going to be our transition shade and our crease shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap off the excess and then just go ahead and go into my crease. I've been loving the more natural and messier looks. It's been my fave lately. I'm just going in circular motions all over my lid and all into my crease, making sure that everything is pretty much blown out and nicely diffused. And honestly, I like to go very high with my eyeshadow. If you guys see my tutorials before, you guys know that I like my eyeshadow high. So I just go ahead and go over like my brow bone. And then this is going to be a little different for me. I never usually put a shimmer shade into my lower crease or in my crease at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup by Mario palette again. I'm going to go ahead and tap into Bronx, this dark shimmery green shade. I'm just going to take this on a Morphe M503. And with this shade, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my lower crease and blend that out. And don't be afraid to get on your lid because this look is going to be messy and your lid is going to be green anyways. So just make sure that you are putting it all into the lower crease and then blending it out. And then again in circular motions, I'm just going to go ahead and keep diffusing this out. And to further blend out this outer corner right here and just blend everything together as well, I'm going to take my Morphe M441 again. And then just go ahead and go over everything. And I'm going to dip into Isabel again and just a little bit to warm the crease back up. So I know this corner looks very harsh right now, but just don't worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and further blend everything out and make sure everything is nicely diffused. To go ahead and pack more color on our lid, I'm going to take Bronx again with my finger. And I'm just going to go and pat this on to my lid with my finger. I'm making sure I'm getting really close to the lash line. And to go ahead and add a more wet effect, I'm going to go ahead and take ColourPop Cosmetics Hammered. It's a really nice reflective green. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this with my finger and go ahead and pack it onto my lid and also into my lower crease and kind of just smudge it all around just so we do have that nice shimmery base all over our lid. So there we have that nice shimmery effect. So just to take it up a notch, I'm gonna go and take my MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow and this is in the shade Smutty Green. And then to go ahead and make sure that we have the least amount of fallout possible, I'm gonna go and spritz a brush with some water and this is just an Urban Decay brush from the Naked, one of the Naked palettes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into this and you guys can see how pretty this is. And then I kind of got a lot on it, so I'm gonna tap it off to make sure that the least possible fallout falls onto our face. But you will get fallout with this shadow, so just expect that. With this shade, I'm gonna add more definition to this look. It's just gonna make your lashes pop out more and add more definition to the look than just having the other shadows. And this is more of like a hunter green, I feel. It's kind of like the Mayatha green, you know, like the Mayatha bud. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. But it's so pretty. And since you, this is an evening look, and like you're going to be out at night and stuff, and there's going to be lights, I think that the shadow is going to look so good, like under the lights. The lights where you're at are going to reflect so nicely onto your eyes. And then with the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that green. And to kind of blend everything out more, I'm just going to take the ColourPop Cosmetics Hammered Eyeshadow again. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that above into my crease. And kind of just make sure that everything is blending out. And then with my Morphe M441, I'm just going to go ahead and further blend everything out. I feel like this kind of looks like more editorial and just more effortless. I really like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes off camera and also put on some mascara. And we're going to be using no falsies today. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. And I'll be right back to go ahead and finish up the rest of the eyes. Alright, so I'm going to save mascara for at the end. Because I don't want to get like any like glitter or anything all over it. So for the under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take pretty much all the shadows that we took on top. Like on our lid and our crease onto the lower lash line. And I'm going to go ahead and take my Mikasa E310 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the shade Isabel again. I'm just going to go ahead and smudge that onto my lower lash line. 
So to make our eyes pop out more and actually blend everything together more, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Urban Decay Glide On Gel Pencil, and this is in the shade Corrupt. It's just a brown pencil. I'm gonna put that on my waterline, and also I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with Isabel, and go ahead and just smudge the Corrupt out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the ColourPop Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Hammered, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this on kind of a soft, on a softer bristled brush, kind of like on a synthetic fiber brush. Actually, it's not really doing that much to it, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my pinky and just dip into that shadow with my finger. My, oh! my highlighter just broke, my favorite one. I'm so sad. This is my heart right here. I'm so hurt. So, as I was saying, I'm going to go with my pinky and smudge that onto my lower lash line. And I do have fallout, so just be careful of that. If you want, you can go ahead and do the trick of baking um, to catch all the fallout, but with my skin the way it is working right now, I cannot do that to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with a damp beauty sponge and a little bit of translucent powder, like the tiniest, tiniest bit. And just go ahead and place that where there is fallout to try and cover it up. You don't wanna rely on this because it can get messy really quick and it's gonna look like your trust, like it's just gonna look like makeup over makeup over makeup over makeup and it's not gonna look cute. So, try to avoid this. But if you can't, this is what you can do. And I'm trying to find my brush and I completely lost it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Bronx. That was the green shimmery shadow. And also smudge that on there. And then to make sure that we still have that full effect that we have on our lid and our crease, I'm going to take the MAC Smutty Green Eyeshadow, and then with the Synthetic Fiber Brush, I'm going to go ahead and spritz that brush, just so we do get the least amount of fallout. And then dab a little bit into it, tap the excess off so we don't have glitter all over our face. And then go ahead and just push that up against the lash line. I wouldn't say to rub this, just because I feel like you will get fallout if you do rub it. Yeah, see this little patch right here? Me trying to cover up that fallout that I had. And then for our inner corner highlight, I'm going to take my baby that just cracked right now, which is the ABH So Hollywood. And I'm going to take this on my Morphe M151. I've actually really been liking this brush for inner corner highlight. I don't think I'm going to do a brow bone highlight today just because I feel like the look is already enough. And then to make sure that we don't have like a big gap in between our like the upper crease and the lower lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with a synthetic brush and the smutty green and just slightly graze on my lower lash line and graze up and kind of just connect the top and the bottom of her eye. All right, so this is the finished look. I finally put on some mascara and also put on a gloss. I just put on the Kiko Milano Hydro Gloss in the shade 19, just a little new gloss. And I really like the way that this look came out. I hope that you guys liked it too. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button to go ahead and get notified every time I do upload videos. And also follow me on all my social media links on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It'll be all right here and also in the description box. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.